What is up guys, it is Brianar, and today um, I'm going to be starting my tutorials on how to make a Trinity Core 3.3.5a server. So, uh, let's get started. Um, first, you want to have, you want to download something called Git Extensions. There will be a link to it. Um, and once you have that downloaded, whenever you right click on a folder, it will show a little Git Extensions um, section. Open this up, scroll down to Clone then up here you don't want to keep that there you want to put in this link right here it'll be in the description and you want to set the destination to the folder that you right clicked on <clears throat> it doesn't have to be named pulled I just name it pulled so I have a um, better understanding of where all my files are um, let's clone and oh, okay that happens sometimes whenever you clone something, or yeah, you clone something from um, GitHub, then you just delete what was in the folder. Um, just make a new folder and try again, and now you'll see it'll work. So this will take probably um, one or well, not even a minute. Probably like 30 seconds. Doesn't take long at all, or depending on your internet, kind of. I have pretty fast internet, so it doesn't really take that long. Um, well, it's doing that. I have all, everything that you see right here will be included in a um, downloadable um, uh, repack. So, you guys can get it. It has everything you need. Um, the world updates. Everything's um, the most current to the world the um, world base and updates everything is um, up to date it's all current um, I'm not going to be updating everything in the video because it's very once you understand how to implement the SQL scripts you'll understand how to update um, there's really no need to show that and also it would take a long time um, there's no scripts I put the scripts folder in case you guys wanted to put like custom scripts it's just nice if you put them all in a folder and have them all together um, yeah, if you, if, um, be sure to subscribe too, because I'm going to be making, um, tutorials on how to make your server public without Hamachi, and how to implement custom scripts, and, uh, yeah, so, I mean, all this will be in there, server extras, this has your DBC maps and VMAPs all up to date. It has, this is the um, MySQL, it's just called um, server because it has your Apache and MySQL, so if you had a website, you'd put it in here, and I'll show you that. Um, well, actually, I can't put that up because I already have a um, site running, but yeah. So now once you've done that, you'll just click OK, and that is done. So now, in the pulled folder, you will have all of your... Um, you'll have the repository you clone from GitHub for Trinity Core. Now, with this, what you'll do is you'll open up CMake. You'll have to install this too. Um, and as I said, all the links for everything I use will be in the description. You want to browse the source, and you want to set it to the pulled folder. And then you want to set the where to build the binaries. You want to set that to the to a um, com my compiled folder. That's if you're using the folders in my repack. Then once you, you're done doing this, you'll just simply click configure. And seeing as how I use um, Visual um, Studio um, 2008 or C++ 2008, whatever, um, I click this. I would use 2010, but it does not work for me um, when compiling. So I either have to use 2012 or 2008, and 2008 I prefer because it doesn't have, um, it didn't ever give me any errors whenever I was building it. So that's why I prefer it. So I, um, I suggest you use it, but it's really just um, personal preference. So we're going we'll to click finish and it'll start to build. And that red right there, don't worry about it. That's supposed to be there. And... Now, if you want to do your um, own maps and VMAPs, you want to click this right here, Tools. Um, we're not going to be doing that, so we don't need them. And then once you're done, I think, yeah, we click Generate. So now, we, you click Generate, because we just configured it. So now once you generate it, it will generate all these files right here. 
Now, we can exit. We're done with CMake. And this is where Visual Base or Visual C++ um, comes in. You want to click this. It'll open this up. Make sure it's the SLN file right here. And then you'll just simply go up here and... Um, well, I, sh I was supposed to be able to build it in 64-bit, but um, for some reason it's not reading my um, registration. So now we'll just click Build Solution, and it'll start to build it. Um, now it'll just build everything. So this is going to be the end of Part 1 um, because this takes so long to build. Uh, I'll see you guys when this is done building.